beautiful sunshiny day here in Atlanta. I understand it's going to be up in the hundreds, and that's okay because it's nice and air-conditioned inside. Yeah. It's kind of exciting. You see people here from all over the world. George Silva has completed his 8,600 mile journey from South America to North America. And as everybody claps and cheers, he's pulled out a Brazilian flag and he's waving it. To let others know about Jesus Christ. It's taken him 10 months and 12 days to get here. And now everybody's congratulating him, he's happy. The surprising thing is I was expecting a young man to appear. This man, I'm amazed that he's done the journey. George Silver explained that he traveled from the Amazon region of Brazil, via South America, Central America and Mexico, to the United States. And he'll continue to Canada to witness and let others know the message of Jesus Christ and his soon return. But now he's here, how does he witness? Not speaking a word of English. In all the places that I come, I find people that can translate my message. When I left Brazil, I didn't speak Spanish. During my journey, I learned Spanish. And because I'm planning to go in all the states of the United States before I go to Canada, very soon I'm going to speak English. Very good, very good. In Atlanta, I am Rohan Wellington. I believe that God is here as we are preparing to do the work of the church. And I'm praying that some of the decisions that are made here will make a difference in hastening the glad day of Jesus' soon return. The room number for Inter-America is 203 and 204. I would invite the delegation to stand as we have a benediction. Our gracious Heavenly Father, as we adjourn from this meeting place and go to other places to continue our business, we pray that we may be accompanied by your Spirit and guided in all the decisions we make so that your name and kingdom and work might be glorified. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. We'd like to again announce that all delegates should go to your various caucuses. No delegate should sit somewhere. You, you belong to the caucus. You need to go there. My name is John Lohr, and I want to just welcome everybody here who is going to see this. Um, I'm from Montana, and I just want to say greetings to our Montana people, and I hope that you will be able to watch on Hope Channel and every, uh, the proceedings, because it's, it's quite, a, quite a, an event. Hi, Idaho. I'm here. I'm going to the meetings. I'm trying to be good. Hey everyone from Washington, this is John Friedman and I'm really glad to represent you here at the General Conference. Hi everybody in Upper Columbia, this is Bob Falkenberg here at the 59th General Conference session and already we have been blessed, already we're sensing God's leading and finishing the great mission that God has given us. Wish you all could be here. Hello Oregon, good to see you and uh, blessings to each one of you. Let's pause then for a, a prayer. There's a person here that you haven't seen lately. He hasn't been hanging around very many of these kinds of meetings. But several years ago, he served as the chairman of the nominating committee, but he quit right smack dab in the middle of, well, no, 
We didn't even get all the way to the middle of it. And he quit. And the reason he quit is because he was serving as the chairperson of the nominating committee. This special music you got coming here. <laughs> but the reason he quit is because he was selected by the nominating committee to be the president. His name is Bob Falkenberg. Hmm. He's in the back corner. Bob, would you have a president's Living Father in heaven, we've come here as part of your people to do your business. Father, don't let us ever fall into the trap of following our own opinions. Amen. Guide and direct and overpower us with the presence of your spirit. Yes. For anything that we do that delays your coming is wrong. Yes, Lord. And anything that we do, Father, we want it to be in harmony with your will. Yes. Lord, use us, pour out your spirit on your church. Fill us with power during this time together. In Jesus' name. Right. Amen. Amen. How many share meetings have you got going this year, Bob? Oh, we'll, uh, we've, internationally, it's over a thousand again this year. And this year, in the homeland, we have 861 so far. Amen. 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 One of my wife's cousins is going, and she has a sister. I tried to talk to her this uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, taking both of them, I mean, both of them volunteering. So you might have a call, we hope, Praise for Lord. another one. You have an opening, we already checked that out. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty. Okay. We'll, we won't turn anybody away. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. The union presidents, would you all stand? Wherever these guys migrate to would be a spot where you could have a meeting and discuss the delegates that you would like to recommend to the nominating committee. And as soon as you're done with that, as soon as you're ready, bring that list of names to Alan. Yeah, this is our. A uh, group of delegates from the North Pacific Union, and we've met to to uh, elect those who will be serving on the nominating committee. And the two who've been chosen are Max Torkelson, our union president, and also Judy Fowler, who is representing the union and is from Montana. <laughs> And then we're planning to go out and just have a photo for the Gleaner editor group who'd like to have a photo of our delegation. So I'll take this up, let's move out to the hall, and then we'll all come back in for the final vote. Okay? This step would be the group that would serve as the North American contingent for the nominating committee. Now, the way this works is this group would uh, be, we would need to vote them in, all of us. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's carried. And now, Ellen Bradford. And now we have the privilege of serving, of choosing leaders for the world church in whom we have great confidence, represent our division well, and even represent better the world church and its needs. Put your spirit upon them, we pray, and keep them for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen.